Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hi, I'm Donna Lynn, and welcome to Short and Sweet, where I give you an exercise tip that'll help keep you strong, and then a little nutritional advice, too, that help keep you healthy. And with those two tools, well, you'll be able to age successfully. So today, we're going to look at hip cars, or controlled articular rotation, hip openers for short. Now hip openers will take your joint through a full range of motion that will maintain the integrity of that joint. And it'll also help with the alignment of the hips, the lower back, and the legs. By doing these cars, the blood flow will flow to that joint and it'll make better circulation, which will bring the nutrients. So let's get started. Now you can hold on to something for this if you'd like. I'm just going to stand up nice and tall, as you will too, with your abs in controlled and in. So we're going to take one leg, we're going to pick it up, bring it over, drop it down, pick it back up, and bring it back over. Good. And then up and over and down, and up and over and down. Let's try that again. Up and over and down, then over and down. One more. Just one more. Yeah. Good. Stay nice and tall. Good job. Good job. <laughs> All right. Now we're going to try the other side, okay? Now, in order to keep your balance, you might think about pushing that big toe down into the floor. All righty? And your abs, of course, engage. So we pick it up. We take it over. We drop it down. Up and over and down. A couple more here. And over and down. Good. How about two more? Just round it up, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> and then one more. And up and over and down. Good job. All right, now you know today's nutritional tip is all about foods that we can eat to make and keep those hips nice and juicy and healthy, bring all those nutrients. So let's look at some of those foods that are on my list. There's about 10 of them. Now these foods will help support the strong bones and joints. They can build that bone density and strengthen that connective tissue and reduce inflammation. And with all of that, you can prevent injuries and keep you active and strong. So here's my list. Number one is omega-3s. Now you'll find that in fatty fish, and that helps to reduce inflammation. Omega-3s do tons of things, but that's just one of them. Nuts and seeds. That'll reduce the inflammation, too, in the connective tissue and the joints. The brassica, or cruciferous vegetables, they block an enzyme that causes swelling. And those colorful fruits loaded with antioxidants. Now, olive oil is another healthy fat that reduces inflammation. And along with lentils and beans, also reducing inflammation. <laughs> now, garlic and root vegetables help reduce the pain. And the one of my favorites is bone broth. Now, bone broth has all those wonderful things that will help keep your bones and joints healthy, strong, and dense. Another favorite of mine, and probably yours too, dark chocolate full of anti-inflammatory properties. All right, now you know why I do this. I do this stuff to keep you healthy and strong so that you have a body that feels good, moves well, and looks good. Now I'll see you next time at Sweet, Short and Sweet. <laughs> and this is Donna Lynn at the Body Fit Solution for Celebrating Act Two. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends, Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life.